First Peter one six through nine. First Peter one six through nine. <clears throat> Wherein you greatly rejoice, though now for a little. It be you have been put to grief in various trials. So he's saying you feel joy now, you have excitement now, you praise God now because your trial is about to end. The things you're going through, it's only temporary. Remember that and give him praise. Don't let the what you're going through overtake you to where you are overtaken by it. To where it becomes your focus and God stops being. Keep your focus on God and realize what you're going through is just brief. But he is and will always be the Lord. And that's worth praise and rejoicing over. Verse 7. That the proof of your faith, which is more precious than gold, um, that perishes even though it be tested by fire, may be found to result in praise, glory, and honor at the revelation of Jesus Christ. So we have reason to praise because we have Him, is what he's saying. And he's alluding to gold in a refinery here. Uh, fire purifies gold. And just in that way, hard times refine our lives. Like the trials God uses to purify us, make our hearts more to His will, be more submissive to Him. Be more obedient to Him. Be better vessels for Him. The thing is, during these trials, He never leaves us. He's always there for us to go to. And that's how we get through them. We build that closeness to Him. And rely on Him to get through it. Verse 8. Who not having known you love in whom, though now you don't see him, yet believing you rejoice greatly with joy unspeakable and full of glory. With joy unspeakable and full of glory. We, we don't see him physically now. Yes, we can have his spirit in us. We feel his presence by the Holy Spirit. We may even hear audible voices. But we don't see him as the disciples did anymore. Because that time's past. But one day we will see him face to face in glory. And until then, we do use our faith that he's given us. Allow him to lead us, carry us on. Believing in him. Have joy in him. Verse 9. Receiving the result of your faith, the salvation of your souls. The result of our faith. Jesus, for the fact that our souls are saved, we're His, we're set apart, we're made pure by these trials, set apart for a higher standard, His standard, His will. And it's all because of Him.